What's going on, everyone? Hunter Doyle from Philly Insider Podcast with Sanjay George and Nate Tussing today. Another NFL playoff preview this week, which we're really excited about. And um, our last one did pretty well, so we appreciate you guys for that. And, yeah, I mean, there's less games, so it's going to be easier to go over this week. Last week was a lot, just with super wild card weekend, which was a lot. Well, you know, one of us went perfect, six for six. Actually, two of us went perfect, Sanjay, because I changed my pick in the chat, so get wrecked. But, um, (laughs) yeah, so – um, just FYI, I did change my pick to the Browns in the chat, but you know, on the podcast, it was kind of a win-win for me since I could, could have played it off either way. But you know, since the, since the Browns won, I got to play it off that way. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys go check out the NFL, um, NFL talk all 32 Facebook page, because, um, it's a really good Facebook page, like a lot of good football conversation there. You guys will definitely want to check it out. Um, if you're big football fans and you want to have good debates and good conversation there. So make sure you guys go check them out. But yeah, we're doing the divisional round, Nate. Uh, let's move on to another uh, game of the week. I'll call it this um, in the bills and Ravens um, playing in Buffalo. It's going to be like in the high thirties this week. So both teams are familiar with the cold though. This shouldn't affect the game too much. I'll start this one off. I got the bills here. Um, and uh, it's going to be close. I'll tell you, I'm not comfortable with this pick because the Ravens certainly impressed a lot of people last week, but they also kind of disappointed in the same way. The fact that everybody's saying that Lamar is insane because he won his first playoff game. Like it's great. He won his first playoff game, but that doesn't make him insane for winning a playoff game after, you know, this doesn't make him a superstar right now. He's been playing bad. He started warming back up. I think we need to see how he plays this week um, against a team with a good defense. The Ravens allowed five sacks to the Titans defense, the Titans who are last in, in sacks in the league they are horrible. not a good pass rush they are not, not. and and that's 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 concerning with how you know good the ravens offensive line is with orlando brown making the pro bowl and um and lamar jackson's mobility so that's concerning as well as um lamar he had a good game on the ground he had a pretty okay game on the on in the air i don't think they'll be able to get away with that as much given that marquise brown will be going up against uh um, Tredavious White. I don't like that matchup at all for Brown. Um, I think their run game will continue to flourish. People are, people say the Bills have a bad run run defense. That's true. But the Bills, I think, have played with a horrible defense the whole year and made it win, putting up 40-plus points. I think this is going to be a high-scoring game. I, I think that the, the, the Bills don't necessarily have to stop Lamar. They just have to slow him down and have the Ravens play from, from behind. That's the key thing. Start out strong and have the Ravens play from behind because they can't just keep running the ball when they're behind. They're going to have to throw the ball, and that's where Lamar is going to struggle. So I'm taking the Bills here, 40, 35. It's going to be a high-scoring game. Bills are going to take this one. Hunter, let's hear it. Well, you stole one of my points, so you guys are both stealing <laughs> my points. I, I have right here, how will the Bills try to limit Lamar and Dobbins, not stop them, because they're, you're not going to stop, yeah. like you said. So um, – mm-hmm. Kind of like the Bills' pass offense, it's not really possible to stop the Ravens' run offense, right? You're going to have to limit them. Um, Tremaine Edmonds, he's going to have to be a big part of this. I, you know, I like Tremaine Edmonds a lot, but you know, yeah, he definitely has his issues sometimes. Uh, he's also an injury report this week, which is a little bit worrisome for me. Um, and like you said, the Bills' run defense has been meh. <laughs> it's not not so great, especially when or even when healthy. Um, you know, while they like, prime example last week, they did well against Jonathan Taylor. But then Naheem Hines had like a few major runs that kept the, kept the Colts offense going, right? Um, but the Bills, you know, they beat Russell Wilson, middle QB there. Um, they beat, well, almost beat Kyler Murray, except for the stupid Hale Murray that yeah. he got. Um, so, it, you know, <laughs> they, they limited him that game. Um, and Phillip Rivers, don't forget that mobile QB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. But they've done well against mobile QBs, but Lamar is obviously – <laughs> Lamar is obviously the biggest test here, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Patrick Ricard, I mean, he's a big part of setting up that run game. Um, you say Orlando Brown, a lot of time, like just pulling, getting inside that interior and um, getting those blocks on like, I believe that's like counter bash play they do. Um, they do a lot of variation off of that. Um, and, and then, I mean, J.K. Dobbins is kind of just a beast. <laughs> I mean, really great rookie year for the man. He just gets in the end zone so much. So um, can the Bills stop him? Uh Biggest test for Josh Allen thus far, too. I mean, that is a lethal Ravens defense that they can strike in a moment's notice. They put so many guys at the line of scrimmage. I mean, every time I watch the Ravens, I count how many guys at the line of scrimmage before the play, and that leads to a lot of disguise. And also, you know, you're getting pressure from different areas. It is hard to diagnose. It is really hard to diagnose. Um, So 
you know, will, will they make Josh Allen kind of second guess himself and with their disguise looks, stuff like that. Um, and then also like, how will, how will uh, Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey deal with Stefan Diggs in this one too? Like that's going to be a big thing. You're going to have to keep an eye on this man at all times in this one. Um, but like my thing is, even if the Ravens go ahead, it's kind of like the, the chiefs were last year. Like the bills are such a quick strike team. You saw it last week. The Colts won time of possession. They won the field position battle. Like they did what they were supposed to do, but because the Bills, the Bills, even though they got backed up, they just down the field so quick. And that two minute drill, um, the Colts also kind of faltered in the red zone. A couple bad decisions, a couple uh, missed opportunities. So yeah, weird predictions. Mark Andrews is going to score in this one. I mean, Mo Alley Cox, Jack, Jack Doyle, and Trey Burton were kind of balling last week. I mean, they were having they were having a field day. Um, so, you know, the Bills defense is not good against tight ends, 92 receptions. That's first in the league, 90, 933 yards, second in the league, eight touchdowns, but 12th in the league. Um, but at the end of the day, the Bills just have too much firepower. I mean, even a limited Bills mafia is going to make an impact <laughs> on this game. Um, I think the Bills will win a close one. I, I feel like they're just destined this year. That's just my opinion. So I've got them winning 30 to 27, a really close one, just covering that two and a half spread. Again, the spreads are going to change closer to the game but yeah that's again another game I was really excited for like you Nate so <laughs> yeah for sure one thing that you brought up that I forgot to mention with the, how many people that the the Ravens line up at the line um, they are very heavy defense or uh, blitz defense yes. one of the and, and they're great at disguising it but uh, the Bills actually are, are phenomenal against the blitz um, Josh Allen has been he stepped up so much last year. He'd get yeah. sacked every play, you know, and this year he's great at dis- uh, diagnosing the blitz and getting out of there, getting the ball off quick. Um, so I, I think that that may be a, a handicap for the Ravens with blitzing too much because you get Stefan AJ or not AJ Brown, John Brown, you know, a little bit of room and they'll take it 90 yards. And that that's mm-hmm. something that the, the Ravens won't be able to do, even if they're ahead because the Bills will just strike right there. Um, Sanjay, sorry, I didn't mean to cut off you there. Um, Sanjay, you can hop right in after this. So we got two Bills, zero Ravens. Who are you taking? So I'm going to save my pick until a little bit. Let me first give you my reasons. So first off, <laughs> well, I, know I like what you, now. you said, Nate. I like what you said, Nate, because the Ravens are not built to play from behind. They really aren't. Their offense being predominantly rushed, being established on the ground. You mentioned J.K. Dobbins, Hunter. Gus Edwards also, big change of pace back for them. Yes comes in, makes Gus big plays Gus. happen, makes real big plays happen. You see him involved all the time, making, getting those first downs, converting those third and shorts. He does it. He does it all out there. And then obviously I don't need to say much about Lamar. Nate, I mean, you said it. Magnificent with his legs. Arm still has some room to develop, but he's passable. I think at this point, everyone has to admit he's at least a passable passer as a QB. So he makes you respect him in that aspect too. With all that, and then you look at the Bills side. So much firepower they got, like you mentioned, offensively explosive. And I had to think real hard about what I was going to take here. But I am going to adhere to my original bracket pick, and I'm going to take the Bills. I'm going to make it straight 3-0 and across. Just because, to me, I don't think the Ravens' defense – I'm really worried about the Ravens' defense in this game. As someone who had them in fantasy this year, they can get caught slipping. And especially last week, against a – Philip Rivers, who honestly put up a pretty good stat line and a pretty good game against them. I'm really worried for what Josh Allen is going to do to them. Like we mentioned, Philip Rivers, the most mobile QB, but Josh Allen, he's got those wheels on him. And Nate, you talked about him getting it to the receivers quick off the blitz and letting them take it. Josh Allen can run it himself, man. He'll just go right up the gut if you give him the edge. So Look, I really think Josh Allen is going to have a field day tomorrow. I'm taking the Bills, keeping it short and sweet. I think they just got too much firepower. I'm worried about that Ravens defense, and I'm really worried about the Ravens having to play from behind. So I'm taking the Bills. Good call. All right, clean 3-0. Uh, Real quick, hey, nice. Sanjay, yeah, yeah. were you saying that uh, that Rivers played well against the Ravens? or I was. I think he had a good okay. game against the Ravens. Because, well, the, the Colts played the Bills last week. So I wanted to clear that up. Sorry. Yeah. I think you got that mixed up. Yeah, no, it's I all did. Good. My bad. Wait, I, I, I somehow heard that, but I still understood what he was saying. <laughs> yeah, it's just that. <laughs> just, I, I understood thing. it. Sorry about it, ladies and gentlemen. Rivers had it's a great good. game against the Bills. Bills. There we go. That's fixed. One key player, being, I think, is – Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, point being, I mean, there some quarterbacks have had a field day against the Ravens defense at times. So, 
just to emphasize your point. <laughs> Josh Allen, <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think Marlon Humphrey is also going to be an interesting play to watch because yeah. he's a very unique um, player. He's not one of those – like, you may look at his stat line and be like, he's got, like, no interceptions. He's horrible. But the dude has some sort of knack for forcing fumbles. It's insane. And who else but fumbly Josh Allen to, you know, fumble <laughs> some balls. So, I think that's going to be interesting. Are you implying interesting... that that backwards 360 <laughs> lateral he pulled in last year's playoffs wasn't the most big was break tactical. in IQ play? <laughs> That he yeah, maybe he'll pull that, but it'll work this time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This would be the type of year for the Bills, too, where Josh Allen would do the 360 lateral again and it'd somehow go for a touchdown. Mm-hmm. I do think, though, that this is one of the games that has the chance to be the upset. It, though yeah, in most 100%. betting sites, the Ravens are projected to win, which I was shocked to see. Really? So it's a close game. 